what is up guys good morning and welcome back to another you know, video um so today we're doing things a little different um i know like a while back i told you guys i wanted to show you the cars and all my vehicles and just our little our fleet of vehicles that we got here um and well today i'm going to kind of do that with you guys um i'm going to give the nova a wash today um it's missing the hood <laughs> But I'm going to give the Nova a wash today because tomorrow we're going to go to a car show. Um, I guess car show, car meet, rides in coffee here uh, at the Detail Garage in San Antonio. Um, it's going to be a really early show, so we want to go ahead and get there early, get some parking. It's Saturday today. The show's on Sunday, so we're going to just get the car washed up because it is, you know, filthy. I had to do quite a little bit of work to it um, this past couple weeks. So it's been getting some suspension tweaks <clears throat> here and there. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and wash it up and then just give like a quick look around of the car, show you guys everything about it. Because I know I never really did that with you guys. I never like showed you the car, showed you what the engine has, um, what's been done to it since I've got the car, or even how it came to be. And then uh, after that, we'll just, you know, switch over to Sunday and we'll go to that car show. So yeah, we're going to take care of that today. Um, so stay tuned. Also, on a side note, I know you guys have never like properly gotten like a cold start of the actual car. So since it's Saturday, I haven't driven the car in like over about a week. Um, I'm going to give you guys a cold start. So it is pretty loud. It's it's open headers. So just <laughs> just so you guys know, it's not going to sound the best. Um, eventually, I want to get that exhaust back there, put back on with like some Super 10s or some 40 Series Flowmasters. Um, but for the meantime, it's just open headers. So it's quite loud um but just so you guys can actually like you know get to hear the car so yeah but before we do that got to do a little quick car shuffle um it's the only bad thing got a tiny garage and so we got to move abby's car and then i gotta move my truck and then gotta move the nova so and then eventually the blazer is going to be in the garage so that's also going to be another one on a side note though we did get a roof rack added to the tacoma so that's nice. I don't know if you guys know, but we put um, 35s on it recently. Um, so it brought it up higher, of course, with the roof rack. So, But we got some other plans coming for the truck here pretty soon. I don't know exactly how soon, actually, just because timeline, money, the wedding, honeymoon, everything's kind of working out. So it might be later than sooner, but eventually the truck's going to be where we want it. But for now, we're just going to take care of the Nova today. All right, guys, it's the next day. Um, we got everything shined up on the car already. Uh, we came out here to meet up with some buddies uh, at the academy down the street from the meet. So you guys remember Harley, this car was on the channel one time. Then we got the Nova. I was like, shit, dude. Dude, yes. Oh my God. Hey, you know what's crazy? A lot of, a lot of people here in Santa Fe, what they do, they dump them. They dump those guys, especially the 18s. Yeah, they dump them when they do a fucking muscle release. Yes. Yeah. My buddy David's truck. And this is my buddy Mike's Mustang. In case you guys are familiar with this one, this is the one that he won on the on the six giveaway, the 2016 Shelby GT 350.
got a special place in my heart for these Tacoma. The cart dealers. Alright guys, so today got cut a little short. Yeah, we had some issues with the car. Um, so we just got it home. Um, I expected to do a little more today, but you know, it's getting hot outside. Um, of course, Texas. Um, but we had some issues with the car. But even though I will still, you know, give you guys the full, um, I guess, look at it. Um, so... This is my 1973 Chevy Nova. I got it when I was 15. Um, it's been my first car. It came with a 250 inline six and a two-speed power glide transmission. Um, I went ahead and did quite a little bit of work to it since then. It used to be primer sealer white. Um, it got a paint job, it did some body work. I did the 72 front bumper um, swap. And uh, yeah, it's just been my, my baby ever since. Um, when I blew the 250 in line six, I went ahead and did a 5.3 LS swap to it. Um, I did some of the engine work myself and then the rest of the uh, work got done by Siller Automotive and Performance. They did the plumbing, um, the wiring harness was cut into a standalone and then installed by Siller, but um, it was tuned and cut by LSX by 360 here in San Antonio. Um, it's sitting on 295 5015s. Uh, 
in the back and then i think these are like super super small like 195s um nittos the it's fully built though um the 4060 it's got a corvette servo blue clutches a b&m ratchet shifter um and a shift kit on it um it does have some rust you know common you know for most of these year novas it uh i plan on fixing it next like in the in the past or in the next couple of years but i don't know how soon that's going to be um but yeah man this is my car it's been you know my my baby my pride and joy for quite some time now um i don't really ever have a i don't ever want to get rid of it and i probably won't ever get rid of it with that being said um of course everybody's got like year-end goals for their car um, I don't really have like a year end goal, but I do have goals that eventually I want to achieve with this car. Um, one of it being, of course, cam, heads, intake, um, just to get me over that power band of where I would like to be. Um, but the car does make an awesome amount of power. Um, it'll do rolling burnouts in first, second gear. Um, the engine is mostly pretty much stock. Um, so it, it's actually very much stock. So, But for, for the, the, how light the car is, and how much power the engine puts out it does you know get up and go um eventually i want to go ahead and do you know a nice it would be nice if i had like a full you know four link suspension in the back um and then of course you know the next goal <laughs> which is a big one of mine is going to be to do a, a full front tubular suspension um control arms uppers and lowers um just change everything out that way it can ride freaking amazing because um, of course that's one thing that I have a big, a big challenge with when it comes to driving this car is the suspension is pretty much shot so um, it limits me to do a lot of stuff that I would like to do with it but don't count the old girl out you know she'll be she'll be getting a lot of work done here pretty soon um, for the meantime though I'm just gonna go ahead and focus on the blazer the blazer is almost getting done and of course that's gonna be in another video that way you guys can see that also as well we'll be coming in here shortly and cleaning up this mess of a garage that will possibly be able to fit both of them in here so Stay tuned for that. All right, guys, with that being said, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Um, I still have a whole lot of stuff to do today and it's only gonna be 12 o'clock. So um, we got some errands to run, things to fix. But you know, as always, we will try our hardest to get out content for you guys, whether it be myself personally um, or just Abby, you know, doing her day-to-day -day stuff. But we'll be back with more videos here in the next near future. So stay tuned, stay tuned for you know, more vehicle stuff, um, more, you know, stuff that me and Abby want to do together. Um, and let me know what you guys think. If you like the videos of my car um, and my truck and my videos, let us know if you want to see more stuff that we've done in the past, like with me and Abby taking trips. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Till next time. Later.